Hello everyone, I'm Kyung Yeol Gu from Virtual Lab. Thank you for attending this webinar today. This is our eighth webinar. We previously discussed about features and uses of address square platform. Today, we have prepared a little special topic and one of the indispensable for all simulation is the visualizer. Today, I'd like to take a quick look at the five representative visualizers. Before entering, let me briefly introduce our company. We are the virtual lab, and we founded from the 2016s. And we are located in Korea, Seoul. The material simulation for everyone is our aim. As you can see, there is a problem. There are many chemists who want to use simulation using supercomputing. However, it is not currently feasible because you need to run HPC, quantum physics, and Linux in order to conduct simulation today. So they just give up. This is a big loss. The platform can be a solution we integrated 3D modeler, simulation engine, pre or post processing tool, and cloud HPC as a web service. So you only need a web browser. We can handle other things or required components for materials simulation. Users can use materials simulation just like other web service. In today's webinar, we first briefly introduce five visualizers. Each visualizer will be compared in terms of visibility, edit, analysis, performance. Introduction. Of course, there are other visualizers, but today I want to look at the five free visualizers that are widely used in the material field. Obito is a visualizer developed by Obito GmbH in Germany that allows you to use basic functions for free. Of course, if you use Obito Pro, a paid visualizer, you can use more features, but the free version also offers a great variety of good features. The second, VMD, is a visualizer developed by UIUC, and its development group is in the field of biophysics. So, it provides various functions for visualization of biofields, especially protein. The characteristic of Orbital and VMD are, the, are that the program is very light, and it is easy to handle large number of atoms. As you know, Materials Square is a cloud simulation platform developed by our company. Vesta is a visualization that is mainly used in the field of inorganic materials, and it is software developed by JP Minerals in Japan. Lastly, Avogadro is a software developed by Hutchison Group at the University of Pittsburgh, known for it's open bubble and offers powerful capabilities, especially in the field of chemistry. Now, as I say at the beginning, let's compare the five visualizers introduced earlier in terms of visibility, edit, analysis, performance. Here, three figures are here. Which of these do you like the most? The light one explains water molecules on the metal surface. Left one looks like organic materials. The central figure is structure of inorganic materials and a polyhedral style was introduced to show the crystallinity of structure. If you want to refer to more diverse structures, we recommend visiting the gallery of materials square 
because visibility is different from the person to person, it is difficult to tell which one is good or bad. However, according to the characteristics of each structure or purpose to be expressed, visibility can be expressed in various time. Let's move on to the next. Edit. Next, let's take a look at the function related to structure generation, which are the most annoying but very important functions for simulation research in general. Atomic scale structure construct can be divided into a atom, lattice, and on. Atomic manipulation is a function used to modify the structure defined by position of atom and the type of element and consists of functions such as modification, rotation, movement, and substitution of atomic position. Cell manipulation consists of functions such as modification of a lattice parameter, cell generation, and modification using space group. Clone function for making supercell, vacuum function for making surface and cleave to define orientation. One may or may not be necessary depending on the server, but in calculations for de dealing with chemical molecules, it is almost essential to define it. Among the five visualizers, BMD and Obito cannot modify the structure, or they can only be modified through very complex scripting. Material Square provides various manipulation functions through the Structure Builder module. Of course, you can create the structure from the space group definition through Crystal Builder, but you can simply load the structure you want through the linked external database. The imported structure can be cloned to create a supercell, or it can be reoriented using the clave function. In addition, by adding the vacuum to the lattice, you can easily create a slab model or manipulate atom coordinates. You can easily create a desired structure by selecting each atom or several atoms and moving or rotate them. Until now, the function of material square have mainly focused on the materials such as crystal structure, but from February, organic structure builder, which can easily draw molecules and polymers, is scheduled to be released. On the organic side, however, Avogadro supports powerful functions such as draw atom. This function is convenient because you can draw an atom with mouse click on the screen. Avogadro has function to manipulate the selected atom to be positioned in the desired location by adjusting the direction in, and size. Avogadro implemented conformer search using OpenBubble. This function automatically fine tune your structure in display even if a mistake occurs in the previous step, step, a clean structure can be made through the conformer search function. Vesta provides uh, powerful editing features characterized to inorganic, or one of which is the rotation matrix. This lattice transformation can be used manually. Vesta provides the ability to export to a bus structure file. Analysis. After calculation, the part that researchers struggle with is analysis. The simulation analysis was divided into the three categories, electronic structure, atomic structure, and energetics. In electronic structure, Analysis can visualize density of electrons in the calculate structure to indicate charge density and analyze the density of state or band structure. On the other hand, 
after MD simulation due to a lot of atomic structure analysis. Structure analysis can be performed by checking the behavior of atoms through RDF. Alternatively, structural defect analysis can be performed through analysis such as dislocation analysis. Energy analysis can be obtained without a visualizer, so I will not cover it. Orbital provides a powerful analysis function as mentioned above. Orbital's RD function is used for atomic structure analysis. Also, in Orbital, through cluster analysis, you can easily check what type of cluster structure has. There are three important features of Orbital's Python interface, automated data in visualizer and analysis steps, integrate Orbital's data I.O. analysis and rendering capabilities into custom workflow or Python programs, extend Orbital capabilities by developing new multiplier or viewports layer that integrate into the graphical user interface. In addition to Orbital, let's take a look at the other visualizers famous for atomic structure analysis. Even VMD provides RDF. In VMD, RDF function is provided in the form of user inputting parameters that RDF observed in real time. In addition, it provides a terminal environment like Orbital. VMD's console, TK console, and provide a Python interface like Orbital. This not only provides the convenience of repeated work, but also provides several hidden useful functions that do not appear in the GUI. Of course, VMD users share their own development programs in the form of plugins. So you can save a lot of time just by looking for analysis to developed by others. In addition, VESTA specialized in electronic structure analysis provide several functions of them. The XRD pattern provides the X-ray pattern of crystal structure. Finally, a square visualizes and displays the electronic structure so that the characteristic of the electronic structure can be easily analyzed. In addition, in matrix square, STM images can be obtained through electronic structure characteristic analysis. So performance. The visualizer cannot be ranked by performance. I just wondered how many atoms or bone could be represented in a particular device. So I did simple test of five visualizers on my high performance laptop. First, the spec of my laptop are as follows. The quad core and i5, the memory is 16 gigabyte. And the tests were conducted in two ways. And the structure was tested with atoms from a thousand to a hundred thousand. Test one only showed atoms and test two showed bond only. The test results are as follows. First of all, there are a few things that weren't considered in the test. So please take them into account. You can see the performance of the visualizer based on CPU and memory usage. The CPU and memory usage when displaying many atoms 
or bones is shown in the table above. In the slide, as a first table test, we draw vast atoms from a thousand to a hundred thousand atoms in visualizer. Some visualizer is down by big amount of atom. One thing that couldn't be considered is that as the number of atom increase and CPU usage increased, the laptop uses its own overclock to lower CPU usage. I have created a table based on the low, lowered CPU occupants and their this missed point. CPU and memory usage is recalled for a short period of time. However, it will be good resource if you simply refer to it. The next interesting thing is that unlike other visualizers, VMD support multi-core here. And since it supports multi-core, it has a high CPU occupancy different from the other visualizers, but provide a lower CPU clock. Of course, VMD has more memory uses, but it is relatively high, but the effect on the actual laptop use is negligible. And we can see the draw bonding is require much bigger computing resource. Therefore, it is recommended to exclude bond when visualize a large number of atoms. So this next is conclusion. Based on features of the visualizer I showed you earlier, I hope you can create a visualizer suitable for your research by combining visualization tools that are suitable for you. Thank you.